This was a mental asylum. Experiments were done on people here. People have died here. What's that? The door here. Just oh. Somebody's here. Angela? What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night spooky adventure. Today we are doing a paranormal investigation in this abandoned mental asylum. I'm not gonna be giving too much details about this place because this place is actually only destroyed by natural decay and not by humans. So I don't wanna give out the location. I don't want people coming here and destroying it. So that being said, smash the like button. Don't forget the new level little merch is out. You guys can find it in the links down below, mo-sarji.shop. This is the new merch, guys. It's here to stay. We got the hoodies, we got the hats, we got the t-shirts. And I also got my friend Angelo with me today. Hey. Angelo hooked us up with this location. He literally drove almost four hours to come and meet us today. And we drove a few hours. Come to the light, Angelo. Angelo likes to be in the dark. He's a bit shy on camera, but it's all <laughs> good. Also, I got Rennie on the camera. He's going to be helping hey. me with this paranormal investigation. You guys want the demons. You guys want the haunted. And that is exactly what we're going to be here for today. Spending almost the entire night giving you guys an epic adventure. Smash the like button. Let's get on with this adventure. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be going upstairs. Angela's going downstairs, good luck. I got Redney with me today, as always. And it's been a minute, a long minute since I've been into an abandoned mental asylum. And I gotta say, this is pretty freaking spooky. This place is big, man. Holy crap, dude. So apparently there's a haunted doll that lives inside of this mental asylum. There's a creepy door in here. I don't know. There's a room that says do not enter. You should usually enter it. Not much going on in here. Check this out. So keep in mind guys, apparently there was a lot of foul play from the doctors towards the patients that were housed in this mental asylum. Be very careful. Oh, that's really cool. That is old school. Yeah, look at that, you guys. Very old school TV over here. Guys, look at this. There's a chain over here. Going all the way to the table. Why the hell is there a chain here? Look what's attached to the chain. Some type of the pod? Maybe it was hanging at one point. This place is really scary. I'm gonna skip all this for now, you guys, because I just seen somebody walk through one of these doors or something. There's nobody here, right? So who the hell just walked through this door over here? <gasps> oh, what the hell? No way. We were just in here, right? Yeah, we were just in here. Hello? Angela, are you in here? Okay. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Maybe an animal did that, or the wind, but realistically, there's no wind in here. This place is sealed shut. That's creepy. Really, really creepy. This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. We're still on the first floor. Look at these pipes. So rotten and so rusted. Freaking crazy. Whoa, look at this room over here. So I know so far, these rooms have been pretty empty. Look at this, they got a zebra, zebra on the wall, nothing. It's just an empty closet. So far it's all empty, but what I need from you guys is to keep your eyes wide open. Let me know if you spot any orbs throughout the video. Make sure to share this video everywhere. Share the paranormal progress I've been making on my channel. I'm really focusing these videos on demons because I really am obsessed with the whole notion of demons and chasing after them and tracking them and figuring more about demons. I know it does come at a cost. It does hurt me. It does sometimes possess me. I do have like this attraction to demons and you know, I, I have this like way of really sensing them if they're here. I'm getting a very strong sense in this place. So I'm hoping we can capture something. Yo, 
Yeah, one reason I get courage, man. From the shirt? Sure. Be you, do you, and just yes, live a little. Friends. Brenny's rocking my new Live a Little merch. I'm rocking the new Live a Little hoodie and the Live a Little hats. They're on sale now. And on my personal app, the Most RG app, there's a new shop button. You guys can get yourself some merch. Um, this stuff is going to be here for a long time. So you guys are in for what the? What? What did you see? I kid you not, bro. I kid you not, I'm not making this up. I just seen a little boy standing on top of that counter in the darkness. I don't know if I seen it with my own eyes or if it was in my mind. No way, I was looking at it, I didn't see anything, man. I just seen it myself. We gotta be very, very careful in this place, Rennie. This place is no joke. What is this even? I think it was a little kitchenette area. As I was trying to plug my merch in, guys, go get your merch. I made this new merch very affordable because I know a lot of you guys can't afford merch. I'm going to be signing random merch items. So some of you guys don't know who. Some of you guys are going to get random merch items. items. Yes, they're going to get signed. Well, they're going to get signed by me. So that being said, I'm also going to be picking one lucky winner that buys merch that I'm going to fly out to, hang out with, and just film a video with you. So get yourself some merch. The link for that is down below. Now let's carry on and go on to this adventure. Do Do not enter. You know what that means. And you have to enter. All right, let's go into room R145. Oh, what the hell? There's a bed in here. Whoa, is this the room with the haunted doll? So there is word. Oh my God. Holy crap, you guys. Look at that. There is word of a haunted doll placed on a bed inside of this, um, inside of this mental asylum. I have yet to find it. I don't know if Angelo found it yet. But if you're wondering how I met Angelo, because you guys have never seen him in the videos, well, he's basically a fan that I've basically, you know, gotten to know on social media, and he told me about this place. So I invited him over. Let's do it in the middle of the night. I drove a long way to get here. He drove a long way to get here, and we met up at this place. All right, so we have not found that creepy doll yet, but I do want to find it. It's going to be my mission for today's video. I'll find the creepy doll, show it to you guys, and also get some paranormal evidence on camera. This is the washroom over here. Whoa, look at this. Showers are left behind. It's a bullet. Oh, that's a real bullet. It's random. Let me know what kind of bullet this is, if you guys know what kind of bullet this is. Everything's uh, behind this door. <laughs> oh. Is that a black widow? Mm. Right, stop moving. I don't know if it was the door that made the noise, but I heard a female scream. What the fuck was that? No, I didn't. Something just shoved the door shut on me. You saw that, right? I saw that. I thought that was you closing the door, but you didn't. I really wish you had a camera in your hand to get that shot. Holy shit, dude. That, that was violent. And look at... What the fuck is going Yo. on? No. Do it. No, try I'm, I'm it. trying. Try it's like you are. Try Here, hold, hold the camera. Hold the camera. <laughs> what the fuck did that, bro? No, it's not a good idea to I be in that. Bro. Okay. There is something in this room clearly pushing this door shut. I want to bring out the night vision later on, especially in the basement. So let's keep exploring and see what we can find. There's got to be more evidence of this place that it is haunted. Which way did we come from? Left. No, we, no, can't, no, no we came from right. This, that's the thing, man. This place is so big. I'm losing my sense of direction. You know what's weird? What? Is that we haven't heard anything from Angelo in a while. That's true. Like, like we, 30 minutes, we should check in on the guy. He's filming his own video downstairs. Yeah, regardless. But like, check in on him. oh, look at this, bro. All these old pillows. Ew, they're really hard. Is that a chain in the corner? It is a chain. It's weird. So what Angel is telling me about this place is that patients that stayed in this mental asylum were abused, um, mistreated. mistreated. I think, I don't know if it's true, but some experiments were done. Some of them died because of these experiments. Um, there's a big you know, word from the people that know about this place that it is haunted because of that very reason. Do you want to go to the basement first or do you want to go upstairs? Upstairs. I said we go upstairs. I we'll still down there, so let's go up. Exactly. Whoa, what the hell is this place? Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Dude, this is creepy. This place is huge. Oh, dude, look at the elevator over here. 
I did not even know that this side of the building existed. As you guys can see, this place is in terrible condition. Completely rotting away. There is mold and asbestos. What happened? Hey, lights on. What was the boy? Wait. Is that Angelo? Did you hear that? Is that Angelo coming up here? Hold on, stay, stay put. Maybe it's not Angelo, maybe it's something else pretending to be Angelo. I hear footsteps coming towards us. It sounds like there's somebody approaching. terrified right now. Regardless, if there is something, we'll eventually run into it. Let's keep exploring and see what we find here. creepy gust of wind that just turned on all of a sudden. Of yeah, that was scary. Angela? Mm -hmm. Oh man, you scared the crap out of us. You sound like there was somebody walking right above us. And then we stopped right there because I thought you guys were Really? Yeah. Bro, this place is scary. Yeah. We're planning on going all the way upstairs and then making our way down to the basement. You, you spot anything weird? Um, Just noises? Just, yeah, I hear <laughs> There's a weird noise upstairs. I think the, the basement was the Really? Yeah. Alright, so there are a so couple of beds here. So. I still want to make my way down there because we haven't explored down that way. So just be careful. Let me know if you need anything. All right, guys, making our way to a different section of this mental asylum, a section we've never actually been to. Oh, look at this. This is completely different. This is all hardwood. This must have been like administration or something. Another bathroom. It's funny how all these rooms are connected together. Look at how deteriorated this room is, you guys. Sounds like there's footsteps coming from this way. Dude, this is so creepy, man. I'm getting some very strange vibes in here. Vibes that I, I don't usually get. Usually the vibes that I get, I know if there's gonna be something. But of all the places we've been together, this is by far the scariest. For you. I mean, I've been to scarier places, but the type of sensitivity that I'm sensing in here is completely out, out of this world. It feels like there's like 20 different demons in one place. Keep in mind, there was a lot of negative energy in here. This was a mental asylum. Experiments were done on people here. People have died here. That could translate into some type of um, bizarre energy. Speaking of bizarre energy, all of a sudden, I'm getting this really strong headache the second I, I finish saying that. Do you think it's from the mold? It's not the mold. I barely smell mold in here. I think it's because of the energy that I was just talking about. What are the odds of me just finished talking about it? All right. So this is another room, just like all the other rooms. Really deteriorated, there's mold everywhere. Let's make our way upstairs and explore that. I'm hoping we capture something. We're gonna be doing the spirit box down there. Yeah. Is that a map? No, I was, that started shaking. What started shaking? That. Did you bump into that? Maybe. My yeah, back. It's possible that you did bump into that. But it just freaked me out. Because <laughs> I couldn't see nothing. I just see something swinging back and forth. Whoa. That's so cool. Really interesting. Hey, look at this. This used to be the computer room. Hello? I'm, I'm Mo Sarji. Yeah, it says computer, computer, yeah. Computer, yeah. 
Interrogation room. Oh god, that's true. It's probably the interrogation room, literally. Oh my god, I'm getting some strong headaches. Whoa, whoa. What does it feel like? I, I know you're saying it's like a major migraine, but is it like typical? No, no. I never get migraines. The only time I ever get migraines is when I'm inside of legit haunted abandoned places um, where there is a strong energy inside. Making our way up to the second floor. We're still on the first floor. Look at the stairs falling apart here. Oh wow, we're on floor number two now. All right, you guys making our way to floor number two. Just as creepy as floor number one, I'm surprised. The hose is still here. Usually kids unravel these and destroy everything. But this place doesn't have too much vandalism. It's got more natural damage than anything. Look at that, somebody's pants. Could be a squatters. Look at that, Linda, it says Linda on the wall. So, as you guys can see, a lot of the rooms are exactly the same. So I'm not gonna be going into all the rooms, just the ones that actually have something inside of them look at this just this one's different it's got cabinets but again really not much going on in here it literally looks like something's trying to pop out of the wall it's very very strange must somebody must have hit the wall on the other side <gasps> did you hear that too what the fuck? stop walking stop walking i didn't just hear that here. No way. Yeah. Dude, there's no electricity in this place. There's no way we just heard that. You heard the beep too though, right? That's why I freaked you heard out. Like beep, right? Yeah. Like what the f You guys, I'm, I, I really hope they, I gotta review that footage. Hold up, I'll, I'll be right back. <gasps> okay, we just oh reviewed. <laughs> you, it was there. <laughs> Bro, there's no way though. There's no electricity. Oh my god. This what place did we is... hear then? The elevator. That was the elevator. Beam. I know. There's clearly Look. no electricity in no this electricity. place. electricity. Guys, keep in mind, this is a dilapidated building. Dude. This is This is the electric panel. Definitely no electricity in this building at all. I would have been warm. How's it going, Angela? Yeah. <laughs> Angela always scares us. <laughs> I think we're off, I'm off my abandoned game. <laughs> every time we hear your footsteps, we freak out. Okay, but we have every reason to freak out because we literally heard the elevator. That's what I was trying to say. Would have been one thing if we maybe just thought we heard it? No, we no. The footage. Yeah, we, we heard it. We reviewed the, oh we God. thought we heard it. It could have been a noise from outside, but we literally reviewed the footage. No. We heard the actual elevator, elevator beep. Ding. Like, you yeah. guys know when you click the button for the elevator and then it comes ding? That's what we heard. Can you guys guess in the comments below what you think this thing is? Renny, do you know what this is? I don't know. You don't know what this is? I know what it is. That's how old I am. Three, two, one. That is a tie rack. Oh, really? So you hang it, you put it in the closet, and when you want to get a tie, you're just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Honestly, this would be good for my live a little hat so you guys can get in the link down below. Hang the hat there. For your hat collection, you want a hat, you're just like, hmm. A little squeaky. Yeah, a little squeaky. But you know, a little grease would help that out. You grab the perfect hat, which is the live a little hat, leaving the tie rack room aside. What are you doing? You expect an elevator to come now? <laughs> Bro, if I hear another bell like that, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm out of here, man. Imagine this elevator door just opens up like that movie in The Shining. Door opens up, blood gushes out. Yeah. That, I mean, that'd be cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't run away. I'd be freaked out. But I would definitely love to see that happen. That's why you would die first? Oh, look at this Bonnie's room. Who's Bonnie? Look how fancy her uh, door is. Yeah, but that's about it. There's really nothing going on in here. Oh, look, it's a little girl in the closet. Well, what the hell? What? Nah, fuck that. I opened this door. This one closed. No. There's nothing connecting them. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. Oh my God! It's good. Shit out of my That thing. Bro, oh, freak me out, man. 
See, there's They're always... They're so clever. <laughs> there's always a solution. There's always a reason behind something. Unless we can't really debunk it, this is something that we are debunking. Oh, look at this. This is Ernie's room right here. Bonnie and Ernie. So we have Bonnie, we have Ernie. Oh, there's water everywhere. Oh my God, it stinks so bad in here. Oh, gross. Are we still on the second floor? Yeah. Holy moly, there's a lot to explore. And there's another hallway we didn't even go So around. this video might be a two-part series. It's like, I want to have two videos in this place. This place is, has so much content for just one video. What's in there? Shh, shh, shh. Lights off. That's the wind. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, that freaked me out, dude. <laughs> It's like some, something rubbing against the metallic wall. All right, you guys, making our way up to the third floor. Very excited about this one. Number three, the sign of the Trinity. Remember when I got scratched by that demon? Yeah. Let's hope there's not another demon in here trying to scratch Mo's RG. Is that the wind? There is a strong gust of wind up on this floor out of nowhere. It's weird because there's no wind right now, but the second I got up here, the wind got intense. So I'm quick, whoa, look at this. Now this is one creepy ass elevator. Oh my God, that's scary. All right, Renny, I think that's it for this floor. What do you say we head upstairs? There's another level upstairs? There is. I think two more levels. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got the night vision going on here. Rennie's got the main camera over here. We're gonna be filming with two cameras. Tell you what, Rennie. What? You go that way, I go this way. We cover more ground. Oh. Shh, shh, stop walking. What is that? You hear that? Listen. Tapping. Let's go check it out. Oh, dude, look at that. It's the wind. Oh. It's just the wind, nothing to worry about. All right, guys, so I got Rennie going one way. Bye, Rennie. Oh, this is scary. This is literally the scariest thing ever. While Rennie's got the luxury of a flashlight, I've got the luxury of darkness. I am king of darkness at this very moment. Wow, look at the Live A Little merch. Looks pretty good in the glow in the dark, or not glow in the dark, in night vision. Yeah, get yourself Live A Little merch, link down below. Before any demons kill us. Are there any demons in here? Very big, the hell is that? What's that? <gasps> oh shit, Renny? Renny, there's something in this room. The door here just oh. oh 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 my god oh my god you're filming right no, i got that i'm filming there's no edit cuts right now look at this what's that the door here just oh 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 my god oh my god you're filming right no, i got that i'm filming there's no edit cuts right now look at this What? <laughs>